weather. Sponsored by Executive Homes. Calm after the storms that we had last night. There's that line of showers and thunderstorms that did bring those powerful winds and those very high rain rates still tracking well out of our area. And it's still pretty organized as it was moving through Dallas now continuing to extend further south. We have some break in that precipitation, but we're not completely done. As you can see, some isolated showers starting to fire up here across the green country. So we'll keep those isolated showers in as we head into uh, the remainder of the morning and into the afternoon. But again, isolated to widely scattered at best. The bulk of that precipitation out of the area. We've seen those rainfall totals very impressive and in just 24 hours. Let's go and extend this northward first and talk about that yellow shading that's indicating around two inches. There were some isolated higher amounts, potentially right around uh, two and a half inches in total precipitation. Anything that you're seeing in green is indicating around an inch where you're seeing those darker shading. Again, that's indicating about an inch and a half. Further south, we did see areas that only got about five. Uh, half an inch of total precipitation in some areas, but other than that, we saw a lot of rainfall as we were in the evening hours. Now looking out, you can see those dark clouds behind me looking out at our South Tulsa camera. Sunday, here we go. We'll talk about that rainfall timeline. A few isolated showers early on, mainly to our northernmost counties, but here in the metro, our time frame is looking to be from about 1 until 5, but again, nothing above 30% by about 3 p.m. So we're going to keep those widely scattered. And yes, any thunderstorms that do fire up non severe threats with those. So that's some welcome news. I look using our Renaissance Hotel camera. You can see a little bit more sun behind me. I like this image a lot better. 74 here for Tulsa. Northwest winds are in play right around 7 miles per hour, keeping those dew points in those 60s for today. So we have a little bit of humidity around but nothing like what we experienced over the weekend and even for the work week last week. 74th this hour, how about these temperatures? Very pleasant. We are good five and even some areas 10 degrees cooler than we were this time yesterday. So noticeable difference. I hope you're able to get out and enjoy this before some of those pop up showers start to drive in. 81 is where we're headed, so not a big jump in those temperatures by this afternoon. We have northwest winds that are in play now and signaling that we are on the back side of that passing cold front. Northwest winds are starting to pick up as we head into the afternoon and they'll be with us about 10 to 15 miles per hour for that afternoon time frame. Periodic guess about 20 to 25. Nothing that we can handle, but worth mentioning if you're going to do stuff outdoors. Let's talk about these showers that will start to fire up that will develop as we head into the afternoon hours, even into the early evening. Outside of that, we will get some breaks. So if you're wanting to do some grilling tonight, you're looking good to go. Again, no severe threats are anticipated. Overnight lows in those 60, 64 here for Tulsa, same below that seasonal average across the board. Tomorrow, as you're getting out the door for Monday, 69 degrees, it's going to feel very pleasant. Maybe a windows down kind of day. Don't forget to have those sunglasses. We'll keep plenty of sun around, not dealing with any showers or thunderstorms for a Monday. Isolated at best for our Tuesday. Notice those temperatures slowly climbing. As we get into the work week, 90s returning. Julie, you knew it was only a matter of time before those 90s started to fire up.